Hey what's up you guys, it's your boy Red8 here today and today I am coming with you with a new sinking tutorial. So I did the poll on Twitter and a lot of you guys told me you guys wanted a sinking tutorial rather than a panic crop tutorial. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. So what we're going to do, so if you guys don't know how to import your file, first thing you want to do is click file, import, and then file. So as soon as that's done, the files should be all lined up here. You pick whatever clip you want, then you just drag it into your timeline. So next thing you want to do is you want to split your clips on the shots or there's a few things I like to do is I like to look at the I would like to look at the bullet countdown and use that as an indicator but it's not always accurate you have to just trust your own judgment. Okay let's watch the clip and see where the shots are so we have a slight idea what we need to do. So we just watched the clips I know exactly where all the shots are and where they want to be. So it's gonna start here this is one of the first shots. So again look see there's two things you want to look at right so the first one is the bullet counts so again it goes from four to three this is the small jump you could use that or you can use the bigger jumps like this so i'm going to use the bigger jumps like that so i'm going to hit Control shift d and move forward because we don't need that just keep moving 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 all right clip starts from here so delete those two that we don't need just to make just to mention to split a clip is Control shift d that's what you want to do and all right so again this is one shot here personally for me i'd like to end the clip just about here all right so next thing you want to do is you want to kind of figure out where you want your cinematics to be where you want the clips to be where you want the major shots to be so what i like to do is i like to listen to the song and just kind of visualize where i want things to be all right so i do want to start my uh, clip here so I'm going to have about maybe 3 seconds of cinematics or 2 seconds of cinematics on this one. So what I like to do is I like to move my clips over. So first one is going to be here. I don't want to stay in the scope for too long because I want like the shots to have a lot of impact when it comes to like syncing. Well that's just my way of doing things. So after I line up everything I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how I would use Twixter, how I would use BCC Velocity and how I would use Time Remap and Time Warp. Okay I'm back. Let's start off first with Twixter. So what I like to do is I like to grab Twixter. So Twixter, 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 and then just grab it, stick that in. All right, a lot of you guys, if you don't know how to do the settings, I'm gonna teach you guys here as well. So, so input frame rate is basically the frame rate of your clips. So my clips are 59.94. You wanna insert that here, 59.94. If you're somehow editing a 30 fps clips do make sure you put 30 fps clips and never go down below speed of 85 or even i don't know 75 well it all depends on the clip <coughs> so next thing you want to do motion sensitivity you want to stick that to zero okay why is my input frame rate 1000 so 59.94 all right then you want to stick frame up nearest and then you want to do you want to start your keyframe right when the clip starts go forward by one I like those are my settings you don't have to copy me you can make your own it's up to you so I like to do 300 in the beginning copy that 300 to the end and then 50 right in the middle I don't know if that's the middle okay right in the middle that should be something highlight everything hit F9 on your keyboard or right click keyframe easy ease so what it is it just makes the keyframe smoother so for me it's gonna be F9 okay F9 Open a graph editor, which is this little squiggly thing over here. So you're gonna see this curve. So what you wanna do, I like to just drag these down like that to make it into a U shape. So the middle keyframe, if you want it to be more slower in the middle point, you just wanna drag it to the left and to the right using these little handles, but I never do that. So that's just not for me. But sometimes I do when I have to. So I'm gonna go back here again. So the same thing you wanna do. No, uh, okay, Twix, uh, okay, so too many presets, I know you guys frowned upon them, but okay, that doesn't really matter, uh, same thing, 300, copy that, and then 50, and then easy ease, and then uh, these two, the reason I'm doing it this fast, I've just had a lot of experience using Twixter for a while and to be honest with you, it's still my new favorite thing to use when I have to. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to show you how it's going to look 
and I'm going to show you what real Tuxus syncing is. And so anyway, so I'm using my settings, and we should be good to go. Okay, so I'm back now. After doing my Twix settings, my Twix stuff for I don't know, two clips. I'm gonna run preview it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So a lot of the times when it's like way too zoomed in like that, what you, what you can do is just ramp up the speed of the third keyframe. So for me, it's just gonna be like this. So I'm just gonna grab this and then stick this all the way to the top. All right. So what I wanna do is also I can ramp up the last keyframe. I'm gonna ramp it from 300 to 351. So it looks like this. Look now. So it looks like this has this little small animation, like it looks like it's gonna be scoped in. But don't worry about it. It's just gonna go well together. Anyway, we are done with Twister right now. So we just covered Twister. So now we're gonna be covering VCC velocity. So okay, of course. So what we wanna do is search up VCC velocity. That's only if you have the plugins for VCC. If you don't have it, then it doesn't really matter for you. VCC velocity is quite similar to uh, Twister. It also warps the speed to make it look pretty cool. So what you wanna do is turn off frame blending, turn on velocity. Go forward by one. For me, those are my settings as well. So 300 again. Usually, people add one keyframe or 50 in the middle, but I learned this from a good friend of mine called the same. Thank you for helping me with this. He adds two keyframes and it makes it look smoother. Just to let you know, he also kind of did teach me how to use VCC velocity. So again, drag this down to the left. Drag this down. Here. So VCC velocity is more smoother than Twixter and Twixter is much more harder on the speed jumps. So that's your basic tutorial for Twixter and VCC velocity. Now we're going to be moving on to timer map. Timer map is quite simple. So what you want to do is right click, hit time, enable timer map. So hit the first keyframe here and move forward. And then I'd like to just go down the time frame. Like, I would like to just go about here and move that right about here in the end. Highlight both keyframes, graph edit, and I'd like to zoom in just so I can work more with the curves. So let's go back here and just down here. Alright, so check this out now. So that's your basic uh, timer map. So what, with timer map, it's quite different to Twixter. So these handles, the left one, the higher you go, the faster it comes in. And th and the ending keyframe, the lower you go, the faster it will exit in the clip. So what you want to do, you will always have a line going up, flowing upwards. You don't want it to be linear or going down because if it's going to go down, the clip is going to be going back in time. You don't want that. Done. No, not too much. Um, the time warp is, time warp is another form of syncing. What you want to do is you want to set your time warp on the effect of presets panel, and then you're going to come, and then you're going to get right here. So then, what you want to do is, so you get all these crazy buttons and all these numbers and shit. You can all in there. So what you want to do is you want to set the first bit to 100. 100 basically means it's real time. And then again, it's the same thing as Twixter, so just 100, 300, 300, and 300 in the end, and then 50 right in the middle. So what you want to do now, for me what I like to do is I like to set my motion blur on, just to make it look smoother. And then method. I like to do whole frames instead of pixel motion. And then I highlight everything. Easy ease. It's literally the same thing as Twixter. It's just once you understand the basics of Twixter, you you can just do with everything. Alright, so I want to show you time warp how it looks like when it's sick. Like I said, it's not as great as Twixter, Velocity, or even Tamiya, but it's 
for the ones who want something like Twix the body don't have a plugin we can use. Anyway you guys, if you have learned something from this tutorial, please do make sure you drop a like and subscribe because it will help me a lot and it will help me get more motivated to do the next tutorial for you guys. If you guys want panic crop, let me know if you guys want short impact tutorials, do let me know on that. That will mean a lot. Thank you.